Oh my god, this is my, my auctions next thing. Oh my lord. Look at this. Alright. Dude, that is so sad when your car retails for a thousand. You're probably looking for 250, so you a thousand. So, to the guy in blue. <laughs> oh, hell no. Please, please, God, please, God, please, God. Did I just win that? I just. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another crazy video on this channel. So, I ended up buying myself something I, I, I didn't expect. I bought a vandalized car, all right? Usually, as you guys know from the last video, which if you hasn't seen it, I picked up the car and everything, I should check out that last video. This car was shot up. So you got shots going through here, 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 going inside the dash. Let me show you guys the other side. This is crazy. Look at that. The bullet comes right on out. That is crazy. So, so that is that. The windows are all messed up. Luckily, this is the this is what's crazy. This is intact. The roofs, the, the roof window is intact. The front glass is intact. The whole engine's intact. Everything in the front end is intact. Everything in the rear end got shot up. So I don't know if he was like driving away and this car got shot up, but I think my duty in the BMW community is to bring this back to life. No joke. <laughs> video guys, uh, I think the goal of this video is just to clean up the car. As you guys can see, we jumped it. Um, I want to make this a part two because it's kind of crazy and I want you guys to, you know, follow all the videos. Um, we're going to try to clean off this car, make it as clean as possible from the outside. The inside all needs to be swapped out, bullet holes through everything, um, including steering wheel. It's crazy. So we're going to have to go through, clean out everything. But today I'm going to clean out the exterior, try to jump the car, see why all the lights are on the dash. Let me show you guys the lights. So there's a lot of lights on the dash, but I'm assuming that's because of the battery. We didn't have to jump start it. It took very long to get it started. So I'm assuming that's the battery. We'll deal with that later, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and check if the bullets punctured anything it shouldn't have. <laughs> now, I know this is crazy. I know you guys wanted me to get a very reliable, clean title 335i with a peace of mind. You know, I don't know what I got myself into, but at the same time, this thing sounds very healthy. Sounds like it has no issues. Um, if you guys look at it, sounds really good. It sounds just as healthy as my N52. So. That's a lot of engine noise. I'm going to get out of here real quick. Um, but yeah, some crazy videos to come. I'm going to try to do a full interior swap. Um, we're going to gonna obviously change out the steering wheel. Whole interior is getting swapped out. We're going to be wrapping the car. Um, these, all these holes are going to be patched up. Um, the other side, you know, we've we got a lot of work to do. Um, this is far, far from mint. So a lot of videos to come. But as of today's video, guys, I'm going to show you guys just cleaning up the car, showing you guys the lights, and see what else we can do in the meantime. That is the key, boys. All right, so um, Jonathan's very smart. He turned off the car again. So we're gonna have to wait for the car to jump back up, and then we're gonna get, go ahead and put it up on the garage and start cleaning it up. We got all the windows up besides that one. So that one's luckily covered up, so we're able to wash the car completely and see how it is to see the actual damages. Are you ready? Guys aren't ready for this. You're just not. You're not ready. You're, you're just not ready. If I hate you, then find someone new. Baby, but you know I never will. No. So I choke you. We got the car started up. Starts up just fine. Uh, but it, it's 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 not starting without a jump. So I'm assuming it's a battery. I'm hoping it's a battery. We're gonna go ahead and get the battery charged at uh, AutoZone. Hope for the best. Uh, but while we get the battery charged at AutoZone, we're gonna get the car in the garage first, uh, clean it all up, take the battery, go down to AutoZone, get all that sorted out, um, vacuum the interior. So the point of this video is just getting the car uh, super clean to see what we're working with exactly. And um, I don't know how long it's gonna take to clean the car, get the battery recharged, check all that stuff. Um, but let's just say, um, to keep you guys updated with the bullet holes, um, the, the navigation screen is not working. There's all the lights on the dash and the key fob's not working. So I'm guessing some computer stuff's going on. I'll have to figure that out. There's a whole lot of lights on the dash, but I, that could all be caused because of the battery. So right away, I can take the battery down to AutoZone. We'll go from there. What do you think this project's gonna be like? A lot of work. A lot of work. To be honest, guys, I agree. But hey, more work, more, uh, more content. So I'm down, you know, I'm crazy, I'm down. But Muhammad always say, Wallah, I'm down, Wallah, I'm down. This is the project, I know. It's bullet holes through the car, I know. I'm down, bro, I'm down. Um, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go ahead, pop open the bonnet, 
uh, work on getting the battery out, take it down to AutoZone, see if they can charge it for me, see if it's completely shot. Uh, Jonathan's gonna go ahead and start cleaning the interior. We're gonna read the codes real quick. Um, let's just see what kind of codes it has on the car. Uh, clear it up and see, you know, what's going on. Guys, more videos to come. Bullet holes all through this. This is all gonna have to get replaced up in here. So I'm gonna have to find all these parts. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the battery out and take it down to AutoZone. <laughs> This is most likely the OEM battery, so I have a feeling that we have to get a whole new battery, but whatever. We did what you gotta do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this guy right now. Don't let me sleep, never say sorry. Oh, maybe I'll leave. Maybe, but you know. Uh, as you guys can see, this is the OEM battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this down to AutoZone. Um, that came out real easy, kind of real easy. It's kind of heavy. But uh, Jonathan over here, he's gonna go ahead, finish with the rest of the car. How's it going though? Pretty good. That actually looks great. Oh my look. If you guys, let me show you guys the other side how bad it looked. So it looks great. And the good thing is it comes with BMW OEM floor mats. You guys know how much that costs, like 150 damn dollars. So if you guys come over here, that's how bad it looks. So he got it really cleaned up. I um, can't wait to honestly clean up this interior. That door on the other side doesn't open. That side has all the glass from the, the window they shot out. So <laughs> we're gonna have to see. <laughs> they shot out, literally shot out. I mean, this is, this is not like they hit it with the, I guess BMW windows. They don't go out unless you shoot them. Anyways guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go down to AutoZone. I'm gonna take that battery with me. You're gonna hopefully they can charge it for me. If not, we're gonna buy a new battery. That would suck ass because I'm broke. Anyways, we'll see what's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, catch you guys a little bit. Probably when I get back, Jonathan's gonna do a whole lot more with the cleaning. Show you guys on that as soon as I get back. Guys, okay, so I was I was just you know talking about the battery and stuff and a couple of the things that's wrong with the car. We'll discuss that in future videos. But I see Johnny over here detailing my interior. I mean, the interior is messed up. I mean, I was guessing you guys can see it's messed up, but he made it where it's presentable. And that looks great. Look at that. Oh my, I don't know why I have to have the navigation in my life. Currently it's not working. Probably has to do with a bolt hole. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Everything that's probably wrong with this car has to do with bolt holes. So we'll figure that out. As long as the car runs, which it is, it's fine. So we'll figure everything else out. Um, this is a cheap 335i project. 100,000 miles is not bad considering how much I got it. It was 3,000 out the door. So yep, that is that. Jonathan actually looks crazy, bro. I really do appreciate it. So that's that. We're gonna go ahead and go out and eat. Starving. That's my other baby right there. Um, see, I didn't. I didn't sell her. She's still here. She's still here. She's just chilling. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead, go get something to eat while this battery's getting charged at AutoZone, and we'll go pick it up and install it, and make sure all the lights and everything is okay because the dash is having all kinds of crazy lights on the dash. But yeah, look at that. It also has BMW floor mats. Anyways. Let's go ahead, get something to eat, see you guys in a bit. So here it is guys, it's a 335i 2008 N54 engine. Um, the front end actually looks pretty immaculate. No problems in the front end. Uh, but when we start getting back here is when you start seeing stuff. So this is not too bad, not too bad. When they start getting over here, you can see all the bullet holes and everything. It starts getting pretty bad. This is like where the bolts came out of. Um, all through that. So yeah, bullet, bullets all over the place. You can actually see one bullet went right through there. That doesn't look too good. A bullet went through there, went through the seats. Couple. That's where the bullets went through. Hello over here. I'm actually having some light issues. It's talking about, I have a light on the dash like ABS saying something wrong with the, the monitoring sensor over here. I'm assuming one of the bolts broke it. We're gonna have to dig deep and see what the issue is with that. Replace the monitor, fix that issue. Um, we got a couple bolts going through this window and the door. Um, the bullet right there is preventing the door from actually going through, so that is unfortunate. But whatever, it's not something we can't fix. This door has a bullet through it, but um, I'll show you guys. This is kind of crazy. This one went right through right here. If you guys open up the door, it went through right there, as you guys can see, and went into the steering wheel and the bullet's right here. I cannot wait to show you guys when I cut the steering wheel open and show you guys the bullet. But as you guys can see on the seat and, you know, that door over there has got a hole in that door. They, those bolts probably cost from one of these, um, but yeah, it's kind of insane how much, how many rounds went into this. To be honest, that is that. But finally, we got the uh, we got the new battery in here. We got a new battery in the car, and this now works perfectly. I can even start up the car. It's actually a comfort access, so I can start up the car without the key even in the ignition, which is pretty dope. But let me show you guys the lights on the dash and what's going on inside, um, other than 
which you get to see from the outside. All right, so we are now inside the car. That's the bullet that I was talking about earlier with the, just literally right, I'm gonna have to cut this out in one of the videos to show you guys. Maybe what kind of, you guys can explain to me what kind of bullet actually went through this car. But as you guys can see over there, our bullet went through there and that's preventing the window to actually go up and down. Luckily it's up. I don't have to worry about that. Um, this cup holder is out right now. All that stuff was there. My brother's actually just working on it in the garage over there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Um, but yeah, if I put the key in the, actually I don't even need to put the key in the ignition. I can just go ahead and start up the car. Really no, look at that, no key in the ignition. I think that's awesome. Uh, but as you guys can see, it is like a Christmas tree of lights up in here. So we have service engine, brake, ABS, tire pressure. I do notice the front two tires are a little bit low on air. So the tire pressure um, is probably, that's what it is. The brakes, probably the brake pads or the brake sensors. ABS has to do with sensors. Service engine, I have no idea what that is. But the car starts up just fine. Turbos are there, works, I can feel the car. I did drive this last night, so I know about that. But I am noticing that this isn't working. And when I click any of these buttons right here, none of this, is responding so if i click like mode or fm am turn that up none of that's working but when i turn on the ac let's go ahead and turn that dude honestly it is so cold ac is amazing on this car but yeah so it blows really cold it's way better than my other car it's surprising considering all the damage i'm happy nothing happened to the ac system um because that stuff ain't cheap but uh yeah Oh, I'm actually gonna leave this on a little bit because it's very very hot outside um but yeah so that's that that's that as you guys can see, this one needs to be replaced. This seat is the only seat that made it out of here with no damage. So this seat will be reused. Um, that looks good, unless I go with another color, of course, I mean like brown, red, or white. But uh, yeah, that window regulator doesn't work. That door panel has to go. Like I said earlier with that, that looks pretty bad. You guys can see the window right here is shot. The, the speaker has a bullet through it. Um, the handle has a bullet right through there. And as you guys can see right here, whole lot of glass glass on the ground as well that's what's going on with that side over here you guys see some more glass that's not from this window this window is actually intact and this window actually works there is a bullet through that door panel as well but this window doesn't roll down this one rolls down but it does need to be replaced the door panel these the doors themselves don't have any holes through the doors so just the door panels i'm assuming because the bullet went in there there is a bullet in there so we're gonna have to pull it out see what kind of round that is as well maybe they use a couple different guns up in here down here a lot of glass in there all all stuff we need to work on the seat is torn back here actually like right over here as you guys can saw from the outside there was a tear um so that interior has got to go unfortunately this is uh this is the heated option as you guys can see it works so over here guys like i said can't open up the door it doesn't work um let me go ahead and open up the trunk show you guys the damage in there so i put all my stuff over here when i was cleaning up the trunk replacing the battery but yeah as you guys can see a couple holes there hole right there i don't even know if that's a piece of a bullet right there we're gonna have to see all this stuff but yeah holes right there actually one of the this is a high up one as you guys can see it actually went through both of those as well which is really insane because i noticed when i washed the car i saw some water in here so that's probably the issue again nothing bondo and all that stuff can't fix probably gonna add a little bit of fiberglass and bondo that up i mean all this stuff is very minor um but we're gonna have to see what it exactly damaged but the body if you guys think about it Bondo fix, Bondo fix. I ain't replacing the whole quarter panel. That's ridiculous. This stuff's very easy fixes. Um, this door, I'll probably end up replacing the whole thing. It's really messed up. Actually, looking at this door panel, it almost looks fine, but you do have something in there. Act oh, I think actually there's a bullet in there as well. Um, but yeah, there's glass all over here. The back of this seat looks like it took it pretty hard. Wow, that is, sh oh my God. Um, this seat again looks fine. So this is a salvageable seat, thank the Lord. But yeah, that's how the car currently stands. As you guys can see though, it sounds pretty good, has no issues. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the hood. So the hood is open, everything looks really good in here. Um, we did end up giving a little bit of a detail, but looks overall very good. I'm not seeing any leaking, but then again, the, 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 there is under trace, so you're gonna have to remove all that. So you guys saw the car. Honestly, if you guys think about it, um, Considering how much I got it from the auction, not that bad, but at the same time, I was expecting like vandalism as in keying, not vandalism as in bullets. But yo, that gives it a good title, so it's whatever, you know? That's how life is. Um, I'm blessed, I'm happy I got a 335i. Now this is gonna be one hell of a project, but you guys know me, I always pull through, I figure out the projects, I get them done. As you guys can see back there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but E90 is still there. I didn't give up on her, I didn't give up on her, but I will be taking some parts out of her and putting on the 335 because 
I actually like the 335 more, if you guys understand what I mean. In the near future, I'm gonna be getting the car up, getting all the under panels off from the bottom, see what kind of leaks the car currently has. Hopefully not much, but I'm, 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 I'm expecting some leaks, to be honest with you guys. We're gonna be taking off all the wheels, check the tire pressures, check the sensors, check all that stuff, especially where the bullets went, take off all the under fenders, check out what exactly got damaged in the accident. You know, gonna be checking the navigation, gonna be swapping the interior. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff. Mostly gonna be identifying why most of the doors don't work and all the sensors and the windows because of the bullets. We're gonna see how far how far damage and what exactly did it break, what parts we need to replace. There's a lot of stuff that needs to get done with this car, but it runs and drives. That is solid. Really excited, guys. I just wanted to show you guys what we're working with. It is a project. You guys know me, though. I'm down. Muhammad's down. I'm down. Yusuf's down. Diaz's down. Ibrahim's down. Everyone's down. So we're going to go ahead and work on this bad boy and uh, try to get it to, you know, try to get this car where it once was and then upgrade it, tune it, do all that good stuff. I'm, I'm not hoping to upgrade this to a single turbo. So this damage ain't gonna prevent me from doing mods on this car. This damage just means I'm gonna keep the car. I'm, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I mean, to be honest with you guys, this is a 335i. This is my baby, this is what I wanted. So I love the sedans, I love 335i's. I can't, I just can't wait, I'm rambling, but I just can't wait, I cannot, I cannot wait to show you guys the future content with this. If you guys are excited and wanna see videos in the near future um, of me just pretty much getting this car up and start working on it, make sure you guys smash the like button, let me know down in the comments which things I should look out to, to do first. Remember to stay humble guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know, you're